Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Good morning to you. I'm Naomi Paskovitz with your daily news update. We are following new developments in the triple shooting we brought you as breaking news on the night beat. It was initially reported that one person had died following the incident on Butler Avenue. Police corrected the report just after we went off air last night and apologized for the misinformation. They now tell us that female victim is alive but is in critical condition. The initial call came out at 10.30 at 40th and Butler near Emerson. We're told there had been calls for a disturbance for a party on that street in the hours leading up to the shooting. Police don't know if there is a connection between the two. Two other victims are in serious but stable condition and police are looking for the gunman this morning. And police are also looking for a killer in Greenwood this morning. Investigators say a man was shot to death at an apartment near US 31 and Fry Road. We talked to a man who says he was inside the apartment when it happened. He tells us the suspect shot the victim for money. But Greenwood police have not confirmed that story. Police have not yet released the victim's name. They are still working to notify his family. And fallen officers will be remembered today. Carolyn Dudley, the wife of fallen state police lieutenant Gary Dudley, will join the Church Brothers for their annual car show today. This is the second year for the classic car showcase that helps benefit the Gary Dudley Memorial Scholarship Fund. It all starts at 10 this morning at the Church Brothers Repair Center at 751 North Shadeland. If you have a car you'd like to show off, there's a $20 entrance fee. Registration starts at 8 o'clock and folks just checking out the cars can get in for free. Remember, you can always get your latest news and weather right here on WTHR.com. Have a great weekend.